Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII, everybody. So last time, we ended up doing a couple more things to progress to get the huge materia. And this time, we're going to be going back into Junon, Junon, whatever. And I'm going to come over here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pay you 10 gil, sure. Let's go in. So in this episode, we are going to be... Um, I think fighting another boss, which can be fairly difficult, but I've also grinded in between episodes a good amount. I'm approaching level 50. Actually, I'm level 50 with Cloud, I think. You want to do that, because let me tell you, the game gets even harder and harder from here, as you may already know. And if you do not grind enough, you are going to be um, in quite a predicament, let's just say that. Anyway, I'm going to just keep going through here, and I think I need to take... Is it this pathway? I'm pretty sure it's this pathway, sure. I think so. I mean, I actually don't know. It's gotta be one of these ways, you know? Either here or over there. Oh, it seems so. Okay, good. <laughs> Missing something? What are you talking about, dude? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I gotta keep running, though. What the hell was that? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's you people. Let's see how hard you trained. Charge! Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, let's make a run for it then. Sure. What? Alright, so apparently it's a battle against two of these soldiers. Oh my god. Well, this should go down pretty easily because they're really not that tough. There's submarine crew. I'm just gonna tag normally here. Oh, look, covered. 1430. 1224. That's some high damage there. Like I said, just grind. Just keep grinding. If, if you're like, oh my god, look at your HP, that's because I also have leveled up the HP plus material. Pretty good amount, actually. So, that's what's been happening, in case you're wondering. Okay. I guess I'm good to go. For Junon, sure, okay, whatever. Let's fight. Attack, attack, attack. Just spam attack three times and it should go down, you know? Look at that cover. Look at that cover, Cloud. You are... Man, you are the MVP, dude. Not really, actually, but... Cloud. There we go. <clears throat> More experience, that's cool. Look at this dog. Oh my god. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh, yeah, I, I should actually, yeah, because again, people request this. So, I mean, I was thinking about, about it, but I'll show this one battle. What the hell is that? Guard system? What the hell? What are you doing? Rocket launcher? 230. That's fairly easy. Fairly easy enemy there. Okay, well... More experience, more AP, all good to go. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going the right way, though. I mean, I'm going somewhere. Extremely strange. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm in the right way. Because I remember that if you find a save point, yep, then you are going the right way. I'm going to go ahead and save in file number... This one. Okay. And I guess I'll take this thing, sure. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Going down into the reactor.
Looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? Oh man. Ooh, dolphins, fishies. Looks nice here, doesn't it? It looks completely nice. I would probably say so myself. Let's go ahead and press this red button. And this will take us down into the sub level of the underwater reactor. Sweet. You know, this looks like um, one of the actual Mako reactors, but I believe it's a little bit different, even though it physically looks kind of the same, you know? So here's a couple submarines, apparently. Okay. Well then. Another save point, I'm just gonna keep going. I just saved recently. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, extremely easy. I gotta use my limit break to destroy you in one shot. Braver! Yeah, by the way, I got a comment asking, like, why don't you switch to other limit breaks? I actually should do that, right? I mean, it's because, like, because I haven't switched them, it's gonna take a while to then get the second one from level 2 and level 3. I mean, I'm not really one for going for the fourth limit break with every single character because it's not required at all if you want to beat the game. Omni Slash is extremely useful for certain things such as the boss against Emerald Weapon and such but um, in general it's not really required to beat the game so I'm just like you know what I already have these two limit breaks in my level one so I'm just going to use them you know and not really switch and I guess that's a that's decent logic right there but at the same time I guess people want to maybe see new ones as well. Restore level up. Oh man. Well, that's nice. That's cool. You know what? I mean, it actually is like an actual reactor, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> because it looks almost identical to the other ones. Okay, here's a couple more. These are underwater MPAs. Or, sorry. Uh, underwater MP, but that's A and B. Okay. There we go. Simple enough. Two grenades. Hmm. Oh god. Okay, how much? Let me see. Um. Well, I mean. What the hell? I have cure three now. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> the huge materia. Oh man. Okay. A shortcut? What, this way? Is that a shortcut? It doesn't really seem like it. Did we make it? What? That was an extremely slow animation right there. I don't even know what was going on. Hey, it's this guy again, Cloud. <laughs> Looks like we barely made it. Either give it to us or else. Which is it gonna be? Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. Well then. Okay, time to um, time to fight a boss battle. Carry on or whatever it's called. Uh, let's see. Okay, you're just gonna no no no. Yeah, you're gonna attack. Um, I'm actually gonna use big guard. Yeah, because you can see that attack right there. That is crazy. That attack is so ridiculous. I'm gonna attack with cloud. 
shit. I didn't want that to happen. Because, see, it can pick up members, and I hate that so much about this freaking battle. Alright, so. God damn, man. Okay, attack. Which. Yeah, attack the right arm. Attack the. But I can't find it. Ugh. Right arm. No, right arm. Attack right arm. Okay, okay. See, one thing I dis I despise about this game is the fact that there's no little menu to so that you have to guess on which side. There it is, there it is. See, like, you gotta keep changing your control pad back and forth and it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, well, wait. We get right arm again. Still hitting FIFA a lot, man. That's not good. And I don't have a big guard either. God damn it. I can't. I can't. Well, Tifa's dead. I don't know if I did that right, though. What the hell? Okay, so let's try this again. I don't actually know what the hell to do here. Um, because... I think what you... Oh my god, I can't... Okay, just attack the right arm, everybody. Except you, who needs to use big guard. Please don't carry Tifa, please don't. Okay, thank you. Okay, just keep attacking the right arm. You want to focus all your attacks on one arm first, because um, if you can get rid of one, that's going to be amazing. I don't remember this battle being that specific. You know, in particular, like having to do this, but okay, I can't. Oh, freaking. Where's the right arm? Right there, right there. See, I'm telling you, I hate that so much about this game. It, it doesn't give you a menu. Let's see, I'm already taking the right arm, that's the thing. How much would Aqualung do? Okay, use Aqualung. Don't you dare grab a second person. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. How are you supposed to do this? Dude, I did a lot of damage, but... What? I don't get this. Because if Tifa dies, like, don't attack the body, though, like... I don't actually understand what I'm doing here. <clears throat> Just keep using Aqualung. You have to destroy one of the arms, because if you don't do that, um... That's gonna be... Oh my god. See, Cloud has his limit break, but he can't do anything. He totally can't. So I have to just keep using Aqualung the entire time. See, each of the arms have 10,000 HP. I don't think I mentioned that. But, yeah, they have that much. Um, the thing is, he's not actually attacking, though. For the most part. The thing is, they're about to die. And I don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna use this to be safe. And just keep using Aqualung, I guess. That's all I can really do. But the thing is, if they die... Oh my god, how much freaking each... Okay, so that's... That's that. Wait, why did you just attack by... Okay, use White Wind now. Alright, so go to use Braver on... Yes, the left arm, sure.
2890. Okay, there we go. That's good now. Okay, so now what I actually want to do is steal with Tifa. Nothing to steal. What are you talking about? Don't you have a, a God's hand, dude? Do you really not have a God's hand? The walker totally says you have a God's hand. Okay, also, who's dead? I can't even... Oh my god. I'm telling you, people. Pet peeves about this game, the whole menu ring and battles. I find it extremely aggravating. Alright, uh, attack. Sure, keep attacking. I meant to use Cure 3 and not Cure 2. Oh well. Can okay, I try this again? Let's see. No, nothing. Hmm. Maybe you dropped the God's Hand. I thought I can steal a God's Hand, though. I guess not. Or right, anyway, this guy has 24,000 HP, the actual boss itself. Hands 10,000 each for a total of 44,000 HP total for the boss, which is kind of insane. Lapis Laser. I should probably, um... Use Big Guard again. Okay, you can use Braver again, so that's really good. A high damaging attack. Damn it. I got a miss. Okay, so here's Beat Rush. Too bad Somersault missed. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I guess the most annoying part about the battle is the beginning. When you're essentially handicapped and only one party member can even be attacking. HP plus level up. Oh, nice. God's hand. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so before I go over there, I believe, yeah, there's a chest right here. It is a battle trumpet now, and before I keep going, I am actually going to equip the gods here. Yeah, it's much better. Also, look at that, um, accuracy. 255. Now, one thing I want to check... Okay, see, all your materials linked on that. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to switch... Mm, I'll put HP+. Plus. I guess also sends down here. Yeah. Okay. So it's good that you have death blow because having a 255 accuracy means that it's almost a guaranteed critical hit. Really convenient. That was a cure three. Isn't that the same thing, dude? I don't know. I actually don't know. But, okay. Now, Tifa's really low in MP, so I do need to watch out for that. I gotta be careful. Alright, so let's see. Isn't there another... Um, I'm trying to see where that happens. But I can't see that well, man. I don't know why. Oh, it's a new screen. That's why I couldn't see. Okay. This one here. Skimitar. Or Shimitar. Whatever. Cool. Um. I believe this over here. Yep. Leviathan scales. Now, this item is missable. It's required for a, um, a side quest later in the game, and you can miss it because you can't actually come back here. So, just to let you know. Alright, so we got some more battles against Shinra's soldiers, apparently. So, as always, just keep spamming attack and they'll down in no time. They can get one shot or two shot or whatever. And there we go, see? HP plus level up. Oh man. How much HP do you have now? Holy crap. Oh, 
All right, so here's another battle now. I believe that's going to be the last battle before we get into submarine. And basically, take control of it. That's right. Nice, nice. Okay, and that's all good. So this time I believe it's against three soldiers at the same time, and we are pincered, right? Yes, we are. But it's still not a problem. I mean, it's honestly quite simple. Just focus all your attacks on one. Also, I just countered that guy, dude. Critical. See, that is why cover works very well with counterattack, because if you cover it, you're taking a damage and you automatically counterattack, which is really convenient, you know? Meteor Rain gained. Sweet. Alright. I've got an access to save menu, yes. As I just said, that I can access. Okay. So, I haven't even mentioned this. Why are there 10 freaking saves in this game when you can't even use them? Oh, that's why. Actually, you can use them. Interesting. You can have that many saves. Oh. Sorry, it's because they were graded out, so I never really, like, just looked. What the hell? What the hell? Wow. Uh, I'm gonna fight them. You can take them prisoner, oh my god. Here we go. Attack, attack, attack. Just spam attacks. Cause that's all we gotta really gotta do pretty much, you know? For the most part. Also, this battle's extremely hilarious with the music. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. You know this music reminds me of the same music from like when you're out in outer space in Final Fantasy VIII. And the uh, Whatever it's called. Like when you launch and take Renoa, you know, up there. I don't know why, but it's like a cheerful music sort of thing, you know? Very nice, very nice. What? It moved. Oh, did it really? Did it really, Red? Wait, what do I do? Turn the chair? Read the manual! Okay, so let's see. Speed up. So ascend, descend, left, right. Speed up, fire, speed down. Cool. Start the mission. So what you want to do is kill the red one. The red submarine. What the... Wait. Get... Get down! Why isn't it... So I can't even descend. Why doesn't it let me descend? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I lost them because of... I 
That's not it. Dude, this whole ascend descend is such bullshit. This doesn't even... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I need to restart because you can actually kill that thing really early. Can I restart? I want to restart. Also, um, I haven't mentioned the fact that the controls are the stupidest thing ever. Why is up, down, and down, up? Why is X speed down when it should be speed up? You know, like in most games, in most normal games, I'm just saying. Also, it's literally impossible to track the red submarine anymore. Like, it totally is. Oh, I can actually have that perspective. I didn't know that. Wow. That's interesting. But again, all this is pretty much useless if I don't... If I can't find this stupid thing. Aside from the fact that it has the most clunky controls ever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's one of many stupid minigames in this game. Oh my god. Get over... Where are you at? It's not over here. It's because it doesn't show up. That's the thing. It literally doesn't show up. There we go. Finally, I found it and I destroyed the freaking thing. Yes, with 2 minutes and 30 seconds to spare. Oh god, it's so annoying. Honestly, it's just like, to find this stupid thing is so annoying. Receive Shinra sub. Hell yeah, I got the sub. We did it. Yes, we did it. Must be Shinra. Report number 2. Okay. Hmm. Roger, your next mission is return to Junon Dock. Okay. Junon Airport, we should make it if we. Yeah. I guess so. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and not actually explore underground, but instead just make it back over here. That's interesting. Press X to uh, drive a submarine, or X to get on, circle to get off. Also, submerge float and move forward. Okay, you can get on and off bays. Okay, as far as my time goes, though... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much on time. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.